if you heard that. I never know. Sometimes there's a few seconds. So we're chilling again with the Motion Leap app because I like it. I find it fascinating. And I think you too can find it fascinating. Are you an artist? You should be looking at this stuff. Do you like art? You should be looking at this stuff. Do you have creativity coursing through your veins? Do you? Well, if you do, you should be looking at this stuff. So it's me and my name is Bob, Bob Doyle. And again, like I said, we're in the Motion Leap app, which is uh, the feature that we're gonna be focusing on is the text to art feature, where you type in a prompt and then it generates art. I've showcased this app and several others that do the same thing. But today what we're gonna do is, if you have this app, sort of jumpstart your results and get some really, really amazing images quickly, which it already does, which is one of the great things about the Motion Leap app. You can type in the simplest of prompts and it creates amazing things thanks to the styles, which I said in the description. So I suppose I should show it to you. So inside the Motion Leap app, I'm gonna choose the AI feature and I'll just use one of their sample things here, like Bonfire by the Lake, just to show you how it works. Bonfire by the Lake. I'm not going to choose any style from below, and I'm just going to click Generate. And so what the program does is, in a very short amount of time, creates an image here, Bonfire by the Lake. Now that's no style added, just a Bonfire by the Lake. I didn't really see a lake there, but I could have regenerated and regenerated until something was happening. By the way, if you're watching, say hello, and then that thing under there that says the chat is ready to display messages will change. I'm going to choose now the hyper real style, just to kind of give you an idea of the difference of what it will do. So it looks still real, but now we've got the lake. And look at that, just a text prompt. So this image, the image that is generated here is, I think, about 512 by 512 in terms of pixels, I think. Um, there are upscalers out there that you can use to bring this up. I've tested some. I'll feature some in another video. But right now, we're just going to look at this whole uh, way to jumpstart your results. So again, there's several styles along the bottom here that you can choose from. They're all amazing, and they all save a lot of time. You can do something simple like Bonfire by the Lake and click Trippy and Generate, and it will save the equivalent of lots of other typing that you would have to do in the prompt, like, you know, trippy look, multicolored, highly detailed, whatever resolution you want to get something that looks like this, which is amazing. Bonfire by the lake though, and we get that. So that's pretty amazing. So, but what I want to show you now is there's a website called lexica.art. Lexica.art is filled with images that are created using stable diffusion technology, which is the technology being used in the background to generate these images within the Motion Leap app. Hey, Bob. So this is, like I said, a really great way to get really stunning images quickly. So what you can do as a starting point is just choose an image. I'll, I'll choose this image here. It's got a prompt that all I have to do is click copy prompt there, and then I can go right back to this program in Motion Leap. One of the things I don't like about Motion Leap is they don't have a clear prompt. I have to back out and come back in to clear this. No bueno. Come on now. And I'm not going to put any style whatsoever. Hey, Karen. I'm not going to put any style whatsoever and just click Generate. I'm going to see what happens. In seconds, we have that. That's pretty good. And again, that's no style whatsoever. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna back up and we'll just choose another style like dystopia and see what that does to the image. Same exact prompt. So what's nice about this is it takes what the prompt has and then it seems to add this other layer of stylistic instructions on top of it. So you get a blend. So that was dystopia. I'll try cinema because they all give slightly different looks, but some of them are extremely different looks. Like that's kind of odd. Her neck is very stretched out. If I go though to alien and click generate, zoom in here, something went wrong. So if it, again, if, if, if it ever comes up that says something went wrong, it generally is happening because it's trying to generate some 
content that may not be suitable for work. So this particular style seems to want to generate her without uh, uh, yeah. So let's go to another style like cyber and generate it. Now what we're going to do though in a second is we're going to change the instruction portrait of a beautiful blonde Slavic woman to a, a real person and let them and see what it does by around putting their face in there. So again, now you see this, a great freaking image. Yes, Karen, there are exactly six things about tech I don't know about. I have to always run these types of things through the trippy uh, filter because of what it does. That's an interesting interpretation. Normally we get a lot more psychedelic stuff. And then the other one I always like to run things through is tech punk, which is kind of a steampunk looking thing. It generally does some very interesting things. Okay, that's got a, that's kind of a, the, the framing isn't great. One of the limitations of this particular program is that you only get a square image. You can't, like if you were using other interfaces to the stable diffusion technology, you could actually say, I want it to be, you know, more of a portrait image or whatever. Still pretty amazing stuff there. So let's go back and find something way different. All right, so it's just like browse, browse, browse. Look how fun this is. Oh, I did say I was going to go back and change the face. Let's, uh, let's do it here. Okay, so this is, this is supposed to be someone named Klaus Nomi, who I do not know who that is. I think it says in GTA 5 style. So I don't know who this person is, but it's okay. We're going to copy the prompt. We're going to go back over here. Back out, back in, and I'm going to just immediately put someone else's name in there. So who could we do? Who could we do? Who has a suggestion? Quick, quick, quick. Uh, I always, whenever I do the celebrity thing, I go, you know, I always come up with the same people. Hey, Pee Wee Herman, let's put Pee Wee Herman in there. Or Robert De Niro, always, but like, I know there's other celebrities, there's other people out there. But let's see if we can get that person's face on here. And this is the cool thing, is this customization just hacking away at a prompt like this and just changing little aspects of it to see motion leap oh that went by so fast i missed it i don't know who zoe zaldania is uh but I'll, I'll type it and see what happens just because you did i can't do the tilde but did i write that correct i was doing some queen elizabeth stuff before actually let's just see what happens here with this I don't even, I didn't even notice what style I used. All right, so does that look like her? I have no idea. I guess we should have used one that I know. Okay. George Clooney, that's good. Let's, let, let's, let's do, uh, let's do Queen Elizabeth, you know, just to... I, I, I've been trying to figure out, is it too soon? I don't know. Well, what are we really doing here? All right, so I'm going to choose the photo style, generate, and we're going to see what happens here. Okay, look at that, boom, right out of the gate. A honest to gosh portrait. Looks good, right? Okay, so now let's move that over to dystopia style. Generate it again. Just zoom in here, okay. So, another take, but still really good. Got the features, is recognizable. I mean, right? This is crazy. As an artist for this, as, as inspiration is amazing and as also just like a tool so let's go to uh, let's go to cyber and see what the, the cyber style does with this whoa look at that cool alright so we get an idea there let's go ahead and do uh, let's do George Clooney because someone asked let's just keep everything exactly the same for now We'll keep it in whatever style this is, the, the cyber style, right out of the gate. Look at that. That's him, all right. Now, normally what I would do when I get a picture like this, save it out, take it into Reface, put my face on it, run it through Remedy to upscale it, and then use it as my profile picture on Facebook. There, my secret's out. Most of my, most of my profile pictures that I've been switching my faces on now recently have been generated in this program. So now let's just use Trippy, see what they do with that. 
If it's a person, they generally try to get the face in there pretty well. But if it's like an object, Trippy is going to get you. Like, that's crazy. But Trippy is going to get you, um, you know, all the psychedelic looking, very highly detailed fractal, you know, Trippy stuff. So again, just different. These are just different styles. Okay, I like the I, I like the Mick Jagger idea. So let's let's go back though to uh, to Lexica, find another portrait that's in a style that we would like to see the face of uh, Mick Jagger on. So there's well, that's the Mona Lisa. There's no way. So how about how about there's a lot of people in this. Oh, I forgot that you know you just never know what you're gonna see here. Uh, all right, I'm going to use this one here. Portrait of a machine from Horizon. Okay, so we're going to we're going to use this one. We're going to copy the prompt. We go over here, and I paste it. And we're going to change portrait of a machine from Horizon Dawn Zero to. I would uh, dictate this, but it kind of screws things up. Portrait of Mick. Jack. Right, again, I'm just going to leave everything how it is, no particular style, see what happens. There you go. That looks exactly like, oh wait, it says Muck Jagger. <laughs> Did you guys see, I'm sure somebody saw that and go, this isn't going to work. Bob, it's Mick, you're typing, but see that delay. All right, let's try this again. Looking like that, they were way off on that one. They've got to know who Mick Jagger is in this world of AI. Okay. That's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting. Let's try Dystopia. Just going to pop around to a few of these. Now see? Now we're talking. Art. If somebody painted this and put it in a gallery, I mean, come on. Right? All right. Sorry, I, I was hoping I'd be able to more easily read your comments, but my eyes and the, the fonts are just too small. Try alien here. We're going to try the alien style. Very often again, if it's... Okay, that doesn't really look like him. But you can always just hit generate again, generate again, generate again, and it'll often come up with very different approaches like that. See, it nailed it there. Totally saving that one to uh, do a... Okay, we're going to do it right now. We're going to do it right now. Because I can't resist. It's too good. I knew this was going to happen. I knew I'd get distracted. I knew there would be one that was irresistible. So I'm going to put my face on this one and see what happens. I was really hoping to not confuse things by going to reface, but my addiction is too strong. And see, you will have, when this shows up on my Facebook timeline, you will be able to say to all of your friends and neighbors, I was there. I was there. I watched it happen when he created that unique, 100% totally unique picture of Mick Jagger, then put his, why is this taking so long? All right, we're going to try again. Sometimes it does that, and then it goes zip and boom. There you go. So now I'm done with that. Save and exit. And then I may as well show you the last part of my secret, which is Remini. I've shared this before. I may never share it again. This will upscale that image that's kind of uh, kind of pixelated around the eyes and stuff like that. And it'll sharpen it up and I'll show you the before and after. This is a huge secret weapon. Look at this. The eye before and after. Before, after. Look how it cleans that up. That's a quality image right there, ladies and gentlemen. I can hear the applause coming through the internet. All right, let's do one more. Fozzy. Okay, wait, I missed. Do you mean Fozzy Bear? Something about Fozzy Bear. Gotta be. But I missed it. But oh, there's Celine Dion. Okay, this is interesting. First, let's just see what, let's just see how we, how close we can get to this. Because again, this was done, I don't know what this was done with. This might have, they might have, what interface they used to, to, to create this image originally. But now, I'm going to use Motion Leap, which, by the way, one of the things you need to know is that there's a lot of different ways to access this technology online, and many of them are paid because you're using somebody else's server to generate all of this stuff, to, to generate the art. But these apps, especially this one, 
I mean, I think it's, I think if you break it down monthly, it's like $5 a month and you can do unlimited of these. But you, I mean, except for the limitations built in, like it's gotta be a square, it's gonna be 512, you know. But the point is, is you can just go and go and go and just keep hitting, generate again, generate again, and just create a whole gallery of the same themed image, which I do all the time. And then I create a spatial metaverse museum out of them. All right, boy, I really sidetracked. So we copied that prompt. Let's go back, too many tabs. And now you all know it's 84 degrees in Henderson. The heat wave finally uh, went away. Uh, all right, let's again, paste. If they could just clear text on this, it would improve the workflow tremendously. Me having to back up and come out to clear that text prompt? No, no, Motionly. I love you, but come on. Usability. That's a cool image. Let me just hit generate again. Gonna change nothing, just generate again. Because sometimes you can get many, see very different things. Then I'm gonna throw hyper real style on it. Just whatever it was doing, add the hyper real style. Let's see what happens. Because really, and Bob who's watching this will tell you that to create images like this from scratch, that's pretty close to uh, problematic. Uh, <laughs> takes, you know, to be able to, to know how to type all those prompts and stuff, you know, it takes some practice and looking at the resources and stuff like that. So to be able to generate these things, you know, with the subscription to this app, but uh, ongoingly, as much as you want, going to Lex, uh, Lexica to get inspiration and a starting point, and then come in here and just iterate, 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 until your heart is what? Content. That's what. It's, it, it boggles the mind, the potential. Because here's the thing, you and I, we know this was generated by a computer in five seconds. But you print this sucker out on canvas and you take it to the county fair, they don't know, unless you say, hey, AI generated art, 150 bucks. Or you can just say, yeah, I did it and not be lying. I mean, after all, you came up with the prompt. This random seed was generated because the cosmos was in alignment with you at that moment to form that image. No one else could have done it exactly like you did, so. This is what's happened. Or print it out real big and then paint over it, right? Like put your layer on it. The, they're such cool prints anyway. Like Tracy, I mean, we, we I generate this stuff all day. My phone is, you would not even believe it. I, oh, by the way, I have to show you something interesting. In a moment. We're gonna do this because it's actually in the description. But I cannot get enough of this. And we, we both say we would, we would definitely print this stuff out and hang it on our wall. Absolutely. And people would come in and go, oh my God, this is incredible. Where'd you get it? It's for sale. It's two grand, of course. It's a Bob Doyle from the Secret Original. Okay, so this is what I want to show you because this was an interesting thing that I did not expect. Now I'm going to try to dictate to it. A cute orange tabby kitten and cute baby chihuahua. Not baby chihuahua, Bob. Puppy. Chihuahua puppy. Chihuahua puppy. Now what I was hoping for, obviously, was a picture of them side by side. But let's see what we actually get. Now, of course, it'll do it exactly as predicted. But let's see. Oh, that is cute, but that is not, that does not illustrate my point. Let's try this again. Okay, these are weird. Let's go to Hyper Real. You'll get it in a second. I'm gonna have to have a talk with artificial intelligence the next time. Basically, what I'm getting at is what it was doing was combining, it was making a hybrid, a combo of a kitten and a puppy. So I got all these tabby cats that looked like, you know, that were shaped like chihuahuas and stuff like that. I mean, sure, these are all cute, but they're not, I, I, look, that's adorable, but it's still not illustrating my point. Trust me, it worked. It was really cool. And I was thinking, well, I just gotta be more specific. 
Now see, that, that, that big cat almost looks like a baby chihuahua. I mean, a chihuahua puppy. What the hell is wrong with my brain? That's so cute. You could make a whole calendar for your family if they like cats. If not, you replace it with whatever you want. I have to do a trippy one and see what happens. As long as it's betraying me as well, let's just, just, just do something crazy. <laughs> Come on, where's the cute chihuahua puppy? I want to see, it was like the fly, get it? All right, that's, that's too much. I'm asking too much of it. Too much, sci-fi. Sci-fi has got to do it. Come on, this is the most science fiction idea we, you could possibly imagine. Well, anyway, I got a bunch of them on my phone, but I'm not set up to just, you know, go over to my phone and show you. We'll try one more time in the anime style. The anime style surprises me because sometimes you expect an anime looking cartoon and, and then sometimes you get something uh, else. Can anybody tell that I am obsessed with my cat, who happens to be an orange tabby kitten? Okay, well, this isn't going to work, but you try it at home, and I'll bet you it will. Maybe I just, you know, I had my fill, but you get the idea. All right, let's see if I can read any of these comments. Try switching the wording around. Yeah, that's probably, I mean, that's what, that's the magic here, is switching. And so what I was going to do to get what I wanted was say, with a cute chihuahua puppy. But let's just say, let's just say, cute orange tabby kitten chihuahua puppy. And see what it comes with. with just that's a that's a total mashup there. All right. Oh, I gotta hit generate, Bob. You gotta hit generate. Nothing happens till you hit the generate key. All right. Well, there is a little Chihuahua right in the snout. We're definitely getting there. I'm gonna generate again. This is definitely getting what we want. One animal that is more, I think, of a blend. But the the orange cat, the orange tabby, is definitely prevailing. That one's got a little bit of a weird bodily structure. Look, you guys, again, you get the idea. But it is kind of bugging me now, because I, I just want to... So, again, see, that's not quite cat. What style is that? That's the hyper real Try film. Can I just say again, this, you got to be careful, because this is really addictive to just go generate again generate again generate again maybe next time it'll look like a chihuahua maybe next time it'll look like a chihuahua maybe next time it'll look like a chihuahua all right i give up a cute orange tabby kitten chihuahua puppy boy it seems like that should do it orange tabby kitten chihuahua mix let's just be blatant about it It's the anticipation. See, that's the dopamine. It's like, oh, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? Bam! And then you get it. Oh, okay. It kind of was and kind of wasn't. Generate again. But they, they really do generate some soft-looking cats, don't they? I mean, you just really want to just scrunch into them. In a good way. Okay, well, it's just not... <laughs> All right, I, we're gonna do. We're gonna go to uh, uh, Alexica one more time. We're gonna find some something that has a completely different look than we've been doing, hopefully, and uh, and give that a whirl. I, I, I did kind of forget about the fact that you there's no filter on some of these, and I could scroll up and be uh, unpleasantly surprised. Let's see. I'm looking. For, well, okay, well this is cute. Maybe we can switch out what the head is. Oil painting of a cute pet orange tabby cat. Right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to replace... And that, look at all that stuff that's in there. I have no idea. A cute orange... This is live... This is not oranges. This is live broadcasting, folks. Sorry, no edits. You get to watch me type and make mistakes. It's, it's awesome. T A B B Y. And dressed as an English professor. Okay, again, I'll do no filters. What do you think's gonna happen? How close do you think it'll look to that other one? 
Okay, no, not so close. But again, we're gonna try other styles. That was no style. He's not wearing the clothes. All right, so we're gonna go to hyper real. Hyper real. Hyper real. Well, we've got some clothes. We have a cat. Oil painting of a cute orange tabby kitten dressed as a... Can't be more plain than... There we go. Now we're getting there. Now we're getting there. We got his head cut off, but we got the freaking prompt, right? Dystopia. I wish I could kind of move the styles around so the ones I use the most. All right, see? We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's go to, uh, 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 I don't know. This Europa tends to do architecture. Like, whatever you type in there, you get a building out of it. But in this case, we've got a cat, but he's not wearing the clothes. Just, want, just for fun, I'm going to generate again. See if they get the message. Yes, and they did. See, that's the whole trick. Sometimes you just generate again. Sci-fi. Generate again. Generate again. And then, boom. You got it. And then again, remember that in this program, what you can do is, I'm not going to do it now because that's a whole other. But within the program, you can add elements of animation, rain, you know, weather, whatever, just graphic elements. Which one did I do there? That looks like alien. What did I choose? Oh, astral. Astral, like I was saying, the other one tends to create buildings or architecture. Astral tends to turn you into some kind of a, a person, into some kind of creature. I love what it, this normally does with characters no see this is trippy i was expecting way different i was expecting you know trippy because normally it does not disappoint so the other the other style that also this it's cute you could totally illustrate a children's book with this with a little bit of patience you know i don't know the the whole thing about keeping the same character though running from page to page like to get this guy saying this exact cat in another scenario now there is technology out there but not within this program that can let you change the environment that a particular element is in. It's, it's, folks, it's crazy out there. Okay, the dog is barking. Tech punk is the style, tech punk. But see, what, what could be happening though? The reason that you may not be see, yikes, uh, it being trippy is because there's all those other text prompts first that could, that are most definitely overriding the trippy thing. So if I just said, uh, let's see. Cute orange tabby dressed as an English professor smoking a pipe. Let's just see if I can remember that. Cute orange tabby kitten dressed as an English professor smoking a pipe. Cute orange tabby kitten dressed as an English professor smoking a pipe. Now, I'm not going to do any of the other uh, stuff from that text prompt. I'm going to go right to Trippy, and now I'll bet you we get what I normally expect. Yes. See? More Trippy stuff an interesting pipe he's smoking. I'm saving that just because it's a cool image. I'm telling you, the trippy style is amazing. Just use it. Just don't go to Lex uh, Lexica. Don't use all the stuff. Just go in and put anything in this program and go trippy style and you will be amused. It's incredible. That and the, and the steam or the, what do they call it? Tech punk instead of team punk. I don't know, steam punk. I don't know why they do that. But now we're going to go there and you're going to see... I don't know why the dog is barking, but it's making me crazy. It's Saturday and there's... Normally there's a lot more gears and stuff like that with the steampunk stuff, but that is a cool image. I'm gonna generate it again just to see what else it'll do. I should have saved it because it was a cool... There, see, now, now we're getting into... Steampunk is awesome! Or tech punk is awesome. And you take this in, and I've, I've, I've played with some, some upscaling apps uh, on my phone. Take that image, which is like 512 by 512, like I said, run it through an upscaler, it becomes, this is for the geeks who care, 2048 or 4096 or something by square, and, and it does sharpen this image up. It looks good. Boy, that dog is making me freaking crazy. I turned down my microphone to yell at the dog. Alright, we're going to generate again, just so you can see. And then I guess I'm going to go, because my dog is making noise. See, I just love Steam, the tech punk. It just creates the most cool stuff that you just could not... Like, I can't even imagine what I would have to type in terms of 
you know, prompts to get that, you know, to get that. But all I had to do was say, oh, just give me the tech punk style and it just does it. Great. I mean, this technology has come so far, so fast, and it continues to evolve at ridiculous speeds. So there is already technology out there that can animate this kind of stuff. They don't have it really on the phones yet. Just wait five minutes. And, sorry, the, the dog. The dog. Um, it, so, it, so, in the interfaces and the apps that are using it and things that are incorporating this, it's just going, it's just going so amazingly fast. Oh, I didn't mean to That was tacky. All right. Well, look, I'm just going to end it here. Well, I hope you had fun. Again, that was the Motion Leap app. You can get it. Uh, it is for Google and Android, so you have access to this if you're on one of the big two. And uh, there are some of those styles that are premium styles. Well, actually, I'm th I'm getting my I'm getting my wires crossed, and now I'm thinking about the dream, the, the the Wombo Dream app. Just go play with Motion Leap and see what you can do. It's amazing. Okay. All right. I'm gonna push the button to end this thing. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm